Well, how do the chums? So I've been given my first timed mission. I've got to do an ox cart courier, make for Melv and deliver the letter to Leonard. Board an ox cart to Melv and um, see a Margaret's letter to its recipient. Okay, right. Okay, so here I am right here. See his letter to Sir Leonard in Melv. Shall okay. we board the ox cart as directed, Master? Yep, we shall. Whoops, have I just gone and done something weird? Whoops. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have waited. Ah, oh, my days. Okay, I, I think we just failed that because I went and waited. Oh, for fudge sake. All right. Uh, so that was the wrong thing to do right away, wasn't it? Okay. Uh, turn to title screen without saving, I guess. Yeah, and I'll start again. Well, charms. Well, I restored well, to the last inn that I saved at, which I thought was in the town where I just rested at, which was after the Eureka mission. It's put me back all the way before the Eureka mission, and I, I honestly don't think I can do anything now. Okay, chums, it's not as bad as I thought because it's actually put me just before I spoke to her and ended off the quest. So I'm actually, I'm okay it's now, people. But man, just be careful with your saves on this game. It's uh, one step wrong and um, you can fail now. quests. Not till it's... my name is cleared. Not till the dragon, this village also suffered the dragon's attack. Cool. All right, so now I've just... Now I've just got to go give the um, message back to her friend. So this is where I... It's not too far from where I left off last time. Okay, so inform Leonard of so Eureka's well-being. We ought to bring him these tidings post-haste. Yeah, so he is... All the way, all the way up there. Now what I could do is use my fairy stone to get to there... And go through the actual chamber and get back to Melv super quick. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use a fairy stone to get that done, just because the actual walk is like it's time and a half. Anyway, I'll reconvene once I get to that point. There we go. I can use one of them. Use, and I'm gonna be going up to the elven area. I guess. So well, how do the chums? Well, I went back to that ox cart person, and um, they didn't give me the mission. They didn't give me the mission. So that was freaking mental. So I'm just going to go back to hunt for the Jadeite Orb. Now, people told me that in the actual checkpoint town, there is a guy that sells you them. So the fact that beans took me miles away last time is a little bit freaking weird, to be honest. Hello there, chap. Have you okay. come from Vernworth? Yeah. How are things there? No, uh, they're pretty good. The battleground to the north is overrun with hordes of fell beasts. And so little are survivors anticipated that you'll find not even a checkpoint here. Right, okay. Um, interesting stuff. Well, tell me more. In times past, twas safe enough a night when the monsters sleep, but no longer. Since a few days past, skeletons and phantoms have made this their nightly battleground. Okay. It is nigh impassable now. Well, I don't know. You know, you're talking to the Arisen. I'm a freaking epic, mate. It could be that aught's befallen the Cenotaph. I'd heard the spirits had calmed somewhat since twas erected. Oh, okay. I don't think they're fans of architecture, skeletons and zombies and the alike, though, mate. Say, if I cannot dissuade you from traversing the ancient battleground, would you consider passing by the Cenotaph? I'm making sure orts are right with it. Yeah, not a problem, but I'm not really... I don't really want to go there at night, mate. All right. Okay, I guess we'll be passing by the Cenotaph at some point then. Okay. Um, peruse at your leisure. Ah, here we are. The ox guard made it without too much trouble. He did indeed. Oi, you there. Yes? You've just arrived in town, haven't you? I have indeed, yes, Morris. I don't mean to pry, only it's my grandson, a boy by the name of Rog. He's gone missing. Pray tell, have you seen the lad? I have not. I have not, Morris, no. Morris, I've just found out Rog has been abducted by beasts. Oh, no. W what? No! 
How can that be? I bet this is a timed mission as well. I better not screw this one up. I've just heard news. Rod was seen being dragged off by wolves. Oh, they're vicious gits. Okay, all right. Oh, my poor boy. We must go rescue him at once. Okay, yeah. Morris, think what you're saying, friend. We can't go charging off after the lad. We are no match for such creatures. They're wolves. I'm sure you are. Do you truly expect me to do naught but twiddle my thumbs when my only grandson's been taken from me? It's going to be ripped to shribbins. The soldiers won't do aught for him, will they now? No. Nope. Can't sign it all. Can't sign it indeed. But what else am I to do? If I do not hasten to the... Did it, do you truly mean that, sir? You will save my grandson. Yes, I will try my best, but he's probably going to get killed. If you return him to me... I will be forever in your debt, straight. Right. Any idea where these wolves dragged him? I say him? we speak with anyone and everyone who springs to mind. You what? You know what sort of useful tidbits we might turn up. I don't think so. We've got to go rescue this lad. Um. Oh, great. Okay, all right, fine. We'll go talk to people about the lad. Okay. Well, where's that guy that just freaking told him that he got... Taken. There he I is. I truly appreciate your offer to aid us with this friend. Cool. Where is Had he? you not spoken up when you did, I fear Morris would have rushed straight into the jaws of those fell beasts. Cool. I know he's in pain. Go. Cool. I am too. But trying to resolve this ourselves would only serve to. Oh, come on. I should tell you. Where are they? I heard someone in town witnessed Roger's abduction. He <sighs> may have some inkling of where the creatures took the boy. Pray okay. Do all you can to bring Roger. So it's not you, even though that you said that he was dragged away by wolves. Right. Okay. Have you got anything you want to say? What? No, you haven't. Great! Yep, yeah, um... This way. How about you? You seem to know a lot. Oh, God. Right. Is it you? How about you? Shame there aren't as many... F I rather enjoyed hearing the one about the gigantic. It is said to descend in... <laughs> right. Sounds like the last... Not you! The flowers that bloom around here. From what I can glean, isn't that unusual? It is. Let me alone, will ye? I'm a busy woman. Okay. Pray for the pact. She questions Elisa. Which one was Elisa? Oh, for fudge's sake. She I'll was just some business with. Sir, how can? I... Have you heard the rumours? The residents of a small. There was no warning, no apparent. Of course, such. Oh my God! Are best I'm going to end up with other bloody quests at this rate, aren't I? I. He had what looked like a bundle of grass with him. Only he oh, was carrying it as though it were of the greatest import. When I asked what he was doing with it, he would say no more than twas a secret. So I told him to get home safe, and we hmm. parted ways. Yet no sooner had I turned my back than I heard him scream. Well, oh, where was he? Aid. But a wolf was already scarpering with him in its jaws. Great, where? Oh, lad. His cries. Pray help him if you can, sir. Seriously? Okay. All right. All right. A good day to you. Yeah, good day indeed. Freaking out. Have I still got to question other people here? I got nothing for you. Stop moving around! Trust well. Okay, they're all moving around. It's very difficult to understand who I've spoke to and who I haven't. You'll never believe this, but the other day, normally you put an elf. May have my eyes. Okay. How about you? Got any tales to live? No, I have not. Yeah. Hey, sir, see, as for where to look, you could try asking a band. Right. Okay. Um, still in this area. We've asked all of these. How about you? I'll be glad to talk when I'm off duty, sir. Great. Right. How about in here? Anyone in here? Out here? Have you seen anything? Me? Just going. Right. Other way. How about you? You looking to join? No, I'm not. What I can do for you? Nope. Okay. Well, this is getting a bit freaking boring, isn't it? Find Roger and go to his aid. Okay. Um, I have no idea where he is. You're just going to say what, aren't you? Yeah. 
There's no one there. There's no one there. Anyone in here? How about you? Talk! There are quite a few beastrons are in Batal. Strange oh, that. Consi Mayhap you've seen those headless. Couldn't tell you whether any of Balls then. Okay, right. Well, I think I've spoken to pretty much everyone. I must ask you. Yeah, I think I spoke to everybody that 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 is. What about you? Got any tales? No, I have knee. Right, I'll talk to everyone again. The flowers that, from what I can glean, the isn't that unusual. How might I aid you, sir? I don't know. I'm trying to find where this bloody boy got dragged off to. It hasn't given me a marker on my map or anything, so. Let me alone, will ye? I'm a busy woman. Right. Okay. So quests. Beans. Do you know where to go? No. No one knows where to go. Well, this is fun. I'm gonna go check online, people, because this is freaking ridiculous. Oh, champs, I'm looking for a lady in red with a white pinafore. Apparently, she's right here in the videos that I've seen online. But as you can see, she isn't here inside of my game. And, yeah, she tells you about flowers and to go to a certain location. She doesn't exist inside of my instance. So, I'm just going to try and go to where I need to go and just hope... That it works. Because of the YouTube video, it's somewhere around here that I need to go. So, yeah, I'm going to just place that marker there. And I'm going to go and walk for it, people. All right. So, oh, hold on. One sec. On this map right here, when I come out of there. Ah, look. It, it's putting a little marker down here. But. I haven't got time to go all the way over there. And that's where the apothecary was anyway. I think that's where the marker was. I don't think the woman's going to be there. Uh, anyway. Right. Let's just go to where I put the marker. And let's just hope that we can trigger the mission. Because the lady that gives the actual location wasn't okay, there. Okay, chums. I've arrived located roughly where the actual point was marked out on the YouTube video. And I'm looking around now. And I can't see a cave entrance for where it should be. So it's not good that it's not actually on my map. I'm going to have to go back to the front. Okay, okay. Jums. Well, apparently you come here. No, I'm going to examine this anyway. Let's just build that. And he's not here, as we can see. But we can see the flowers over here that that little girl sort of mentioned about. These blue flowers over here. So they're all here. But it says now you go back to the town and you speak to that same girl that mentioned the flowers, but at night time, and she should tell you something else. So let's head back over this way then. But to be honest, I just want to know where the poxy place is. Okay, chums, well, I've put a marker on the map. Now, you are supposed to follow the blue flowers and they glow sort of at night time. But, uh... I'm just going to go there and see what happens. Because my quest giver wasn't in the town, I couldn't find her anywhere around that yellow area where she's supposed to be. I can only assume that my quest was broken, people. And I found this with a couple of quests inside of Dragon's Dogma now. And to be fair, I'm, I'm, it's kind of breaking my enjoyment of the game, to be honest, people. So anyway, I'll head okay, there. Okay, chums, even on the you. daytime, I'm still finding these blue flowers. We've come across a couple of wolves. Let's get rid of these. We carry on following these blue flowers, people. Some blue flowers there. Here. Lovely jubbly. Keep following the blue flowers. There's some there. Coolio. Any more for any more? Yep. And there's some bandits here. Right, well, I carry on. Oh, they're fighting a, an orc, actually. It jumps. I, I carry think on. I'm in a cave right now, and I'm hearing wolves, anyway. Um, I'm still seeing blue flowers, though, so I think we've still got a little way to go. There we go. We've got somebody being attacked by wolves up here. 
Okay, maybe we're not quite there yet then. That was well fought. Thank there you. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the... Aha! Here we go, people. Putrid Cave. We've arrived at Kate where the YouTube video showed. Ah, there's the wolf. Kill the wolves. Let's rescue the boy. Hello, I mate. Remember the wolves. How is it I'm still alive? I don't know, mate. I think it's down to me. The Arisen. Actual service. Yes, and thanks to a YouTube video or two. You saved me. Didn't you, sir? I did, yes. I how did you know where I was? YouTube, did mate. Father, request your help. Uh, he did, and then the person that was supposed to tell me where you had naffed off to, didn't. I suppose he must be worried sick about me. He is indeed, yes. If it's all the same to you, sir, I think I'd like to go home now. Yeah, that's a good idea. Do that. Don't we have a report to make, Master? Do, do we have to take it? Does he? Does he follow us? At night, all the way home. Okay, come on in. Let's get him home. I mean. It would be nice if I could fast travel, but I suppose that's off the table. Let us deliver the lad to Sir Morris. Okay. Yeah, let's just walk nice and slowly the back then. Oh my days! I will lead the way. Go on then. It's so freaking dark, I can't see my hand in front of my face, Beans. So yeah, do that. Hold on, why is Beans' name changed to David? What the fudge? He's changed his name to David. It was Beans. David is... I think I preferred Beans as a name, to be honest. How random is that? Anyway, Matt the Low, the owner of said pawn... Follow it, me. Yeah, I'm coming. He gave me an eternal wake stone that wakes everybody from death. Mainly because he had the plague hit his pawns. And he's worried that my pawn may now have the actual plague. I haven't checked her out. She hasn't done anything weird or said anything weird. They act odd before they go crazy, so we should be all right. Anyway, I'll see you back at town. a little bit weird. Yumi has changed her name to Krimiri or something weird as well. Um, I think my game might be slightly foobard. Uh, okay. If we mastered that attack, we would be invincible. Yeah, lead the way, please, David, because I'm out of lantern oil. I can't see my hand in front of my face. Oh, for fudge sake. When you just want to get back to a town, it's... Yeah, I wish there was a better fast travel system. I honestly do at this stage. Okay, right. Well, it looks like I'm back at town. There or thereabouts. I mean, you know, it's just a bit freaking dark. I can't see now. Cool. Let's see if we can get him back up to his... his um. I guess it's his dad, maybe? Or is it his uncle? One or the other. Let's just hope he's still awake, okay? Hey? Here at last. There we go. Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? Okay. Oh wow, he sells fairy stones. That's a rarity. But I want him to sell me the jadeite orb. Oh, he hasn't got the jadeite orb. Fantastic. Okay. Business could be better, but I've weathered worse. I, I'll just, Many thanks. I just brought your son back. Um, now where is he? Here he is. Got to keep it together. Right. I have no idea what's going on now. Then. In here. This is your house, right? This this is this is where I'm supposed to bring you. I'd have that. Rog? Rog? Oh, now Is you recognise him. Hello, Grandfather. Touch a miracle? You're alive and in one piece? Oh, joy of joys! I thought ne'er to lay eyes on you again. Brilliant. We saved him. Father, you're smothering me. Oh, hush. You don't get to complain of such things after you worried me half to death. Brilliant. I'm sorry, Grandfather. I didn't mean to cause you grief. And you? Words alone will ne'er be enough to express the depth of my gratitude. Well, you could give I me a jade eye talk. That'd be nice. Pray, take this. 
Tis naught but a trifle in comparison to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. For Gave me Miracle Reboot or something. Okay. It was hardly a challenge for adventurers of our caliber. It was me hardly so worth doing choice. it, to be honest, to be Where fair. Long as I live, I shall... Well, are you the only guy inside this town? I live, I shall ne'er for... Oh, great, okay. A case of a sculptor's block. No, I want to do the um, Jadeite Orb, please. That one, yes. Right, now let's try talking to him. Long as I live... I Okay, he's, he's no longer willing to sell me anything now. Freaking brilliant! Okay, um... Let's have a look at the old map. So we've got... What's this guy? Medine's house, Morris Apothecary, Celestial Smithy, Resp Town. Maybe I should just sleep the freaking night. Yeah, let's sleep the night and let's see if that moves things on a bit. Because I think you buy the jade orb from Morris. I could be wrong. Might we consider boarding an ox cart? No. Nope. Oh, I don't know about you, but my legs are stiff as boards. It is the original okay. choice to make. Yeah, I just want to oh, sleep in. To put my feet up. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to sleep at the moment. Um, I'm looking for the innkeep. There we go. There's the innkeeper right there. Hello, mate. Sir. Cool. Well, I'm going to store stuff and all that sort of shenanigans. Oh, this is not the right guy! God! Oh, well, there we go. I managed to find it. It was upstairs above the freaking tavern. There we go. Done, diddly, and done. Rest until morning. I wonder if their names have actually gone back to how they should be now. I wonder if they're fixed. It's... There you go, you and me and beans. There we go. So they were bugged out. It makes me wonder if some of my other mission markers were bugged out. But now I'm going to go and speak to Morris. Can I? Can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, mate. Right, let's head up this way then. Let's go and speak to good old Morris in the morning and see if he's willing to sell me the Jadeite orb. Because I've looked at another video there and... Long as I live, I shall ne'er... Great. He now no longer wants to sell me stuff. I think that's broken, slightly. He's the only apothecary in town. Need anything? Yes, I need to buy stuff. Fudging heck, mate. Well, I think I think we've I think we're slightly broken the game then, people. Because yeah, he, apparently he lets you um, buy the Jadeite orb, and then you sort of clone it. You can do like a um, I don't know a, a thing of it. Oh, well, let's just head up here. There's another building around the back here that I haven't looked at yet. But yeah, I I think this is another another mission that might be slightly ruined. Yeah, I can't go in there, can I? Okay, hold on. I can't move. What the fudge has gone on? I don't believe I had any visitors today. Right, hello there. Gone. I have no hospitality to extend toward one bereft of decorum. I have no idea what's going on here. Yeah, okay. Well. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Brilliant. Pick some now. And use them when the need arises. Right, look, that little boy's left the frickin' apothecary now. So hopefully he might start frickin' working again. Yes. Might as well take a look while you're here. I've been trying to for the last frickin' ten minutes. Alright, here we go. He's got a fairy stone. And he hasn't got the Jadeite orb for frickin' sale, has he? Ah, chums, it's it's not Morris. It's a guy Stop called Abraham that I need to go and speak to. So I just need to find Abraham. Now there's this guy here. He Greetings. might he might ask me you to get a Jadeite orb as well. You tell me, in your comings and goings, did you happen to encounter a man by the name of Offul? Yes. He seems to have vanished while in possession of a treasure known as the Jadeite orb. My fellow merchants are scouring the city for him as we speak, but have had no luck as yet. And if I may be candid, 
Our primary concern is not the merchant, but rather the orb. It is an item of precious importance to myself and my partners, you see. I must see it reclaimed post haste. And in my hour of need, who should you will be rewarded? Cool. So here, give us a handsome reward. Jadeite orb is in high demand. Yeah. All of us just to find it now, but only one of them can have it. Yeah. Okay. And the guy down here. Look, he's got the jadeite orb on the shelf right there. That's it. There. Welcome, sir. Cop, if you think me a liar, then buy something and see the truth for yourself. Well, I'm going to buy it first. So you buy the jadeite orb. Purchase. Lovely. And then you request a forgery. Ah, I see you desire one of my masterpieces. I do Very indeed. Well. That, please. I shall have your order crafted in good time. A little patience is all I ask. Sweet. Okay. Many thanks to you. Right, there we go. You can have forgeries made at the scrap store. Simply bring them along. Blah, 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 blah. Lovely, lovely. Lovely, jubbly. Sometimes, though, they... Sometimes, though, they won't have the same magical prowess as the original and things like that. So there's a bench here. We can sit here and just wait. So let's just pass some time. And I'll probably do that again, to be fair. Okay, maybe that won't then. What to do? There we go. That'd do, I think. Let's go talk to him again. Let's see if he's ready. Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then buy something and see the truth for us. The item you requested is complete. There we go. Here you are, sir. Use it well. Many thanks to you. Thank you. I just want to see what else he sells, sir. actually, people. Let's have a quick look at what he then... sells. So, he's got fairy stones and he sells them for a little less, which is pretty cool. Beastrin mask. Why the fudge would I want that? But anyway, got buy something and see the hope to see you again. Yeah, you too, mate. In the old game, I uh, cloned a load of fer the port crystals so I could ferry myself around the world a little bit more. He would only do one forgery of it though. Okay, so this guy so, here. How goes it? Did you manage to retrieve the jadeite orb? I'm going to give him the forgery. I like the beestring guy more. Ah, splendid! You've my thanks. Brilliant. Before we discuss your reward, however, there is one final matter to which we must attend. You see, in my line of work, trust is paramount. And so we shall go to verify the orb's authenticity together. I punch. Come, I trust old Ibrahim's eye most of all. Let us pay a visit to his little scrap. Follow my lead. Okay. All right. Go. Dang it. I'm hoping he's going to lie. On my behest, since I just paid him good coin for the forgery, is he going to point out that his forgery is a forgery? Because this is not going to end well if that is the case. You better lie. Good day, Ibrahim. Would you be so kind as to examine this jadeite orb? Dang it, this could go horribly wrong. Now, I have a bit of business to attend to while he performs his appraisal. I ask that you await my return here. Okay. I better talk what to this guy. It? The appraisal's not yet done, and I must needs concentrate. What's this for, then? Yeah, put it in my favour, mate. That shan't get you anywhere, I'm afraid. Sir Everard's paid me quite a sum to handle this appraisal, I don't mind telling you. You're a persistent one, aren't you? Oh, God. Gold, all well and good, but I shan't risk my business for a full pocket. I've my future to think of. Fudge sake! Well, heavens fend. That's more than I can refuse. He ought to be finished by now. Come, let us go see. Okay. You have done your title proud, Arisen. 
This jadeite orb is indeed the genuine article. Holy fudge. My partners shall be most relieved to hear of its return. Spent a freaking fortune on that. You certainly earned your reward. I trust you will find it satisfactory, and I do hope you will permit me to call upon you again. Sure. Him. Smuggler's ring and 12,000 gold. Sir Everard has paid us handsomely for the orb. And plentiful coin is always welcome on our journey. Good. Well, let's go give the other one idea. to the little beestring chap. To Merton's manor, are you? No! Oh, okay. All right. First, he'll sweep you a look from head to toe. Then he'll ask that how you present yourself when visiting someone and slam the door in your face. Ah, maybe I should put on my lovely attire. That pawns. You'd think he'd know not to expect noble manners from us common folk. Okay, well, I'll change my attire and we'll go back there, I suppose. But for now, I need to give this guy the other Jadeite Orb. There you are. Pray, tell me, have you found the Jadeite Orb? Oh, thank you. There thank you go. You. Now my freedom is assured. Pray, take this. A note isn't much, but I'm naught else to offer. Right, I'd best get going. Sir, though we may... There we go. Now, hopefully, he's going to give the real one to that guy as well. And then he's got two Jedi orbs. Hopefully. Gets them mixed up. Cool. All right. Brilliant. Um, I'm just going to change my attire at the good old innkeep. And we're going to go back to that building up on hill. I want to see what happens. Reckon your road's been a long one. Trade towns can make you right sick of crowds, but here. Withdraw, and uh, yeah, I want none of those. I want that, please. Courtly tunic and courtly breeches. And I think that's all I need, to be honest, to be quite courtly. Yeah. At least you'll find a bit of peace and quiet. Many thanks. Let's see if this lets me into That's that place then, shall we? Here we go, equipment. Uh, let's uh, take that off for a second. And we'll present ourselves as best we possibly can. There we go. Right, now let's go and see if he would actually see, see me. You know, I look like a noble now. Let's go see if this actually works. I mean, I don't know whether it will or won't. So where was it? Up here. The nice thing in town is you can run as much as you like without getting out of breath. Let's see if it works. Knock, knock! It is I! I don't believe I had any visitors today. No, well you now you do. You've got me looking rather dapper. My interest is peaked. Yes, I should say it should be. Very well. You may enter. Brilliant! We have entry. There we go, people. Work that one out on my own without a YouTube video. Heck yes. Now then, what business have you with me? I don't know. I don't even know who you are. Could it be you have come to learn of my magic? Hmm? Ooh. Cool. I, wonder how you shall fare. I wonder if he's a master in magic. Many are those who have knocked at my door only to walk away broken and defeated. Perhaps you would allow me to test your resolve? Okay, Mer, yeah, do Bring it. Bring me the grimoires I yet lack. I will not demand that you gather them all. A few shall suffice to prove your determination. I've, I've got a shed load of grimoires, actually. Um... But I need to go back to the storage to see if uh, I've got... Well, just to grab them, I suppose. we we'll nick that, anyway. We're we'll nicking your stuff, my friend, first, before I go anywhere else. What's behind this? Nothing. What's upstairs? Now, you know, for him not to let you in your ha his house, he's got to have something worth nicking. The act of incantation and uttering a spell is merely symbolic. It forms wavelengths that catalyse magic, allowing manifest of thereby influence in the physical world. Considering this, if several sorcerers were to incantate the same spell simultaneously, what would the result? I predict that the imbrications of a wave would amplify, enhance the magic, and cast according to the number of voices joined. 
Ooh, I wonder if that means if I had more than one sorceress inside of my um, party, whether the magics would get sort of infused, Kated. through your host's possessions unbidden? How utterly contemptuous. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. Okay, um, right, let's have a look, see what else, what else has he got. He's got a grimoire right here. We could probably give this back to him. Okay, we'll have that one as well. There we go. An unpardonable act. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm going to carry on doing it. And then I'm going to give them back to you. That's that's my plan. What are you up to? You, you're going to try and kill me, huh? Fudge. All right, we run away. Okay, people inside the viewerverse, you might not want to do that. I mean, we could kill him inside of his own house. You're quite right. I can't find the blinking exit. There we go. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have nicked his books. Now, I can't remember the last time I stayed a night in a hotel. I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. I, I shouldn't have done that. I, I really don't know what to do now. But there we go, people. Normally, you can nick things right in front of people and they don't actually care. But this guy did. So that went that went horribly wrong. I don't really want to have to kill him, though. I wonder if I go back to him now and talk to him whether he'd remember. Hello. Have you found any grimoires? I have. There you go. You can have this one. Oh yeah, you got to select like that. Deliver. Well, well. You actually did as I bid you. Mhm. Mm yeah. Have you found any grimoires? Um not just yet. I know I'm... not where they are. I shall divulge but one location. Cool. All I right. heard tell that a volume was espied in Melv, a village assailed by the Sweet. dragon, mind you. Who's to say? Okay, right. Well, we've been to Melv, and it might be in my storage. I will go That's check the hotel. Trade Let's towns have a look. Can make you right sick of crowds, but here, have a nice storage. At least. Withdraw. Okay, so this is everything. Now, that says it's a grimoire, so we'll take one of them. We'll take one of them as well. It says grimoire. That's a grimoire as well. Okay, now I don't know which ones I've taken and which ones I haven't. We'll take that one. Take one of them. The Art of Metaphors? Okay. Okay, that's to, like, change your look. All right, well, I've got one of each on my person we'll now. A bit of peace and quiet. I, doing business. I don't know whether these are going to work. I don't know whether these are key items or just consumables that do magic when you throw them. Anyway, I head back to his house. Right, well, I'm back. Sir. Let's go in. Hello, mate. Have you found any grimoires? Oh. Okay, so they're not the consumable ones that I have, obviously. Dang it. You know not where they are. To... I shall divulge but one local village. Mouth, yes. Okay, cool. Thanks, mate. All right. Well, that's a future episode then, isn't it, people inside the viewerverse? So, yeah, these, these consumable ones that I have on me that actually say Grimoire in their description are not the Grimoires he's after. You can see there, Grimoire in wordage right there. Yeah. So, anyway. Cool. I'm going to use that. And that's the uh, eternal wake stone that I got given just in case one of my pawns goes and ransacks everything. I've heard that there is a update on its way, supposedly, that lets you work out whether you've got like um, the plague happening sooner rather than later. Their eyes should light up green or red, considering I've made Phoenix red. That could be a little bit tricky to tell. Anyway, let's, um, let's uh, save the game. And then we'll be pressing on next time, people. There we go. So save and return to title screen. Lovely jubbly. So, when it comes to Dragon's Dogma, people inside the viewerverse, although I like Dragon's Dogma 1, Dragon's Dogma 2, I am finding that there's far too enemies on the road. And they repeat too much. The swathe of distance between point to point isn't all that great. Because it's massive. 
night time is too freaking dark you run out of oil too freaking quick and purchasing oil isn't all too easy i can't find many vendors that sell the dang stuff and i'm not too sure how i go about crafting it um i don't know there's i just i'm not falling in love with dragon's dogma 2 as much as i did with dragon's dogma 1 people inside the viewerverse and uh i'm trying my best to i really am but there we go uh, I'm going to carry on playing it because at the moment with No Man's Sky not having an update there's not much else out there that's tickling my fancy until I get my PC built. So I'm in a little bit of a catch-22 situation where I still want to make some content. I still want to play a game of sorts because I do have that free time to play some games. So I will be playing Dragon's Dogma 2 and pressing on and hopefully we will find that kinship that I found with the first one that I knew and loved so much. Anyway, salute to Mondo. Till next time. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.